everybody, this is Praxis and I'm on site today just doing the last sorts of uh, steps on the shed before I just kind of call this all set and head into the house. As you can see, the north roof is still not touched. I'm thinking that would be a heck of a lot easier doing with two people. I just have one today. Uh, so today I've been working on adding the last of the uh, strapping boards. I put this window in and now I'm about to do what arguably is kind of a two-person job putting in this door. Uh, I figured that uh, this would be something entertaining for me to try to do on camera because it's awkward and, um, well, we'll see how it turns out. Uh, I've got all my tools out here, which includes a hammer and, and nails, really, is I think kind of all I need going, uh, going up in there. I also got a tape measure, a level pencil, and a pair of pliers in case I missed any of the staples on the side of the thing. Um, but the, the plan is to uh, lift it up, set it on the step, and tilt it back. Uh, while I'm doing that, I need to remove this little uh, this screw on, screw off plastic thing, uh, you know, because it, it can't go in until then, but I want to leave that in as long as I can so the door is not swinging freely. So let's give this a try. I've got some good news today. I, uh, before I talk about the good news, let me kind of at least get this weight up onto the, uh, onto the house. Let's see, maybe I can kind of slide it up the wall. No. Okay. Okay, it's it's on there. So now I just need to slide it over. Okay. Oh. Right. Well, that was the really awful part, I think. That's catching on something. I think just the foam up there. There we go. Oh. You, know, you can only use the palm of your hand as a hammer so many times before it starts getting sore. It's a little pro tip there. All right. Oh, wow. I, uh, you know the thing I said I needed to do before I put it all the way in? Pull the plastic off? That didn't happen. I feel like it'd be nice if they made a way of getting this. Jeez, how does that unscrew? Oh, okay, I got it. Alright. I can leave that in for now, I suppose. A little plug. Alright. Alright. Now, one common thing for doors, uh, a problem that they might have is that the door doesn't sit in the frame straight. So what I'm gonna do is, the door is the shape the door is gonna be, but I can alter the shape of the frame. So I'm noticing there's a little gap up here uh, in the corner. So I'm gonna kinda alter the, uh, the shape of the frame so that it sort of matches the door. <coughs> and then when you close it, you'll get a nice firm seal. I'll do that in a moment. I don't think that thing's gonna fall down, so. Uh, I can step away from it a couple feet anyway. The good news, uh, I uh, built a bunch of the shelves that I bought from Home Depot. Every single one of the boxes out of the four had busted up, uh, one busted up uh, shelf rack in it. Uh, but I called them up and they um, miraculously actually said that they would take take them back. Uh, I told them that I, they didn't need to take back all four because I was able to build three shelves and I consolidated all the bad shelves into one box. Uh, and it was amazing, they, they like, did what you'd think a decent company would do. They said, yes, we'll take them back. And I had them shipped, and they said I didn't have to drive back into the store to do it, that they would pick them up. The only weird thing is that they said UPS would do it, and that they would show up at some point within the span of a week. They couldn't tell me what uh, time they would show up of the day or which day they would show up, but I needed to leave the package out on my porch the entire time, but don't cover it with plastic even if it's gonna rain, but you don't want it to get wet if it rains, but don't cover it in anything because UPS may not be able to find it. So that part's kind of weird, but the mere fact that they sent damaged product and they're willing to bring it back, how weird is that? That's it. <laughs> Thanks for watching.